What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video here on Peg City Hockey. Now it has been two weeks where I didn't cover any news, I did a jersey preview video of, and then all of a sudden now we finally have some actual news breaking, which I called last night in the DMs with Zach, I'll show the message right now, I said the next 48 hours Sunday, because why not, it's a slow news day and the Jets always do stuff on slow news days, but nonetheless, Mason Appleton, the RFA that we've all been waiting for to sign next to David Gustis in the last two holdouts, has avoided arbitration and has signed a three-year deal with the Winnipeg Jets. This year, the cap hit will be $2 million. In the last two years, it'll be a cap hit of $2.25 million. So, uh, I like this deal. I'm, I'm going to go right out there and say that. I like Mason Appleton. I like this deal for like a lot of different reasons. The main reason is he's under $3 million, and that is huge. I thought, personally, if I was the Jets, I'd be aiming for around one5 and that's probably where Chevy was aiming to be realistic. With all the news of him missing out on other RFAs and offer sheets and other prospects and guys in that bottom six spot that we've been looking to fill, signing in other places, it makes perfect amount of sense that Chevy would want to go out and spend a little bit more money on a guy that he actually likes for the system, Traded at for reacquiring him back at the deadline uh, as well from Seattle because we lost him in the expansion draft, obviously. To go out and do all that, there was no way he was going to let this guy go to arbitration and have that bad relationship. So what does he do? He go, goes out there and he gets a really good deal for Appleton. Appleton gets three years to play with the Jets. Now, whether or not he'll be with the Jets, that's fully three years. I have no idea. But I like this for next year. He had a down year in Seattle where he didn't put up that many points. I'll even show his advanced stats for you guys right now. You guys can take a look. Obviously, this is a down year to where he was in 2020, 2020. 21 in the limited North Division season with the Winnipeg Jets. He was really good on that third line last year, jumped up on the top line at times, had power play opportunity. The Jets really gave him a good opportunity to grow within the system in all areas in that season, and they definitely did not want to lose him in the expansion draft. It felt like they didn't want to make a trade like they did in the prior expansion draft with Vegas. Obviously, we all know that story and the Jets giving up that pick to end up, uh, that ends up being Nick Suzuki to keep uh, to keep um, uh, Enstrom and a bunch of other guys on that team and basically ended up up being like, hey, take um, my boy Chris Thur Thorburn, who we will always miss, Stanley Cup champion, but nonetheless... How is this deal going to really, you know, mold for the Jets in the future? I think basically what you're going to get out of this is you're going to get Appleton to be the bona fide middle six kind of goal scoring forward on that line. A guy that can power drive the net, has got a shot, has got some skill, can make some passes. He's not going to be a power play guy. Definitely not a top six option. But since he was able to play up there a couple years ago with the Jets and that system really hasn't changed that much. Obviously with a new coach coming in, it could. But I think that Mason Appleton could be that role player type utility guy that could jump up in the top six at times. But when it comes into next season, I expect him to be playing on the third line with Adam Lowry and really uh, hard to say I, I I don't know I would expect him to probably go with Adam Lowry uh, Mason Appleton and then really thinking about it maybe Morgan Barron I think that could be a really good third line uh, for you maybe, maybe Morgan Barron showed a ton of potential last year with the Jets has some really good goal scoring up there as well but some play driving I think that that would be a really good third line with some good young players that could really jump start the bottom six for the Jets and get more points out of them obviously we saw Adam Lowry last year have a lot more goals and be playing a lot more aggressively and hopefully that style can mesh better with some younger guys that have more offensive prowess to their game that would be really really good for the bottom six because let's be real a bottom six with Dominic Cotonato is not going to get you a lot of goals so you need to rebound and you need to acquire young talent that can score goals and if Appleton can rebound to that 2020-2021 season where he had about 30 points and was really good in a limited season I think that he could easily get 40 points playing for the Winnipeg Jets next year in a really good productive season on the high end and on a high end for uh, 40 points on a contract where you get in two million dollars honestly that's a win for the Jets in my opinion so I'm happy with this deal I'm glad he's back I like the term I like everything about this deal I'm a big fan of Mason Appleton I was really happy when Chevy reacquired him at the deadline unlike that Zach Sanford trade I actually thought this one made sense you're getting a young guy that knows the system who you didn't want to give up in the first place not giving up a lot to get him when his value is low you bring him back now and you give him the three years I think this makes perfect sense for the Jets and is going to be a pretty good underrated sign for them going into the next season I, I really like this deal and if I'm a betting man which I am I I would be putting my money on Mason Appleton to have a rebound year with the Winnipeg Jets in the 2022-2023 NHL season. But let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below, Jets fans. How do you feel about this deal? Do you happy with it? Do you hate it? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, check out all the affiliated links down in the description below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with all my, re my, my thoughts and all the things that go on in the NHL world that I don't have time to cover in a video. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Peace, love, and positivity as always. Go Jets go, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.